Hi, everybody. Had to jump on here. So I was asked by someone last week during the live video to give some pointers about medical spa equipment. Here's my disclaimer. I always tell from my point of view and my experiences, everybody does something different. So I'm on two live feeds. We're here on YouTube and we're also live on IG. So a couple things. First of all, you need to determine exactly what you're going into business to do. What are your goals in a med spa or any type of beauty business setting? Okay. Cause you're getting people coming out of aesthetic school and uh, esthetician school teaches you how to do a peel, how to do a facial. Uh, they uh, estheticians can learn uh, how to apply makeup. Cosmetologists can know how to apply makeup, how to do hair, do things with the skin. So there's a variety of things going on. However, you cannot be the jack of all trades and master all. So my best suggestion is to first think about what is it you are trying to do? Uh, I think some people are trying to do too much and they're not thinking about, hey, if I invested the time and the energy in growing this service or that service, I would be awesome. But some people say, well, I want to do that. I want to do this. I want to do that. And they're all over the place. So you can easily spend money on equipment that you're never, ever going to use. Okay. Or equipment that's not going to bring you back return on your investment. So the biggest thing is to think of return on your investment. So now I'm going to use my scenario. I opened up a medical spa and my mission, and you can see this on the website. My mission is to help women embrace their natural beauty. So I'm going about things that naturally make you look pretty. I'm not anti-makeup. I'll put on makeup. Matter of fact, I have on some mascara today. So I'll put on makeup. However, there are ladies who want to master makeup. Kudos to them, right? So they should go invest in whatever equipment, whether it's going to be airbrushing machinery or whatever it is that's going to make you the makeup guru. You're going to spend money on it. I said natural. So I'm trying to help women look the same way they do all day and look the same way when they wake up in the morning. So I have to invest on those things that's going to make the skin super pretty, things that's going to smooth the skin out. And for me, my biggest thing is collagen induction. So I made sure when I came into business, I invested on those things. So for instance, uh, you may say if you're an esthetician, well, what, 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 uh, I'm not here to teach you what you should do. I'm just here to make you think. I think oftentimes people want, are in love with the idea of being a business person, but they take away the credit that you have to give to business owners who are successful in how they arrived. Okay. There's no shortcut. You have to think this through. So what is it that you exactly want to do? So I said, okay, I want to make skin look cute. I want to make skin my age look youthful without looking like everyone in Hollywood, you know? So that was my big thing. I don't want everyone to look alike. I want everyone to look like their own natural self and there's natural beauty in everyone. So that was my mission. So what did I invest in? Things that's going to smooth lines, right? So maybe I should learn how to do Botox. If, if we can't get rid of the lines, let's invest in um, something like that. Or oh, let's think about equipment. So, cause we're trying to stay on track here, right? Cause this was the question asked. So now I said, well, I want a microneedle cause microneedle induces collagen going to make the skin look pretty before one. Uh, so look, this, this is the thing about live, right? Cause my brain runs, but you have to stay focused on equipment that is effective and evidence based supported. Okay. So I've seen people in practice say, well, I'm not going to pay that much money for that machine. I'm just going to get one from China 
Okay, and that is also why in New Mexico right now, there is a lawsuit going on against a medical spa for possible HIV transmission with a vampire facial. It's not just how they probably performed it in terms of protecting themselves or the client, but it could also be the equipment they used. There is a reason why equipment is tested here in the United States. And one is to ensure safety. It is huge. You do not want to be sued. You don't want grant opening, grant closing, because it can happen, okay? So you want to buy equipment that you want to ask that person, if I was buying a microneedle, I want to ask that vendor, um, what? tell me about some of the clinical trials. Now, I'm a medical provider. So an esthetician, not no disrespect, may not think about that, right? But that's how I'm trained. I need to know the evidence. Show me how many people um, did this pass safety in terms of cross contamination? Because there's a couple of needle micro needles that are on the market right now, and I can tell you their history. Some of them have a history of being pulled off of the market because of cross contamination. So one thing you want to ask, very important, you want to ask about safety, not just to the client getting um, a possible infection, but yourself. Okay, what if it splashes back? Or what if it, you know, these are things you want to ask yourself, especially when you're needling and the possibility of blood transfer. I look at IG all the time and people are posting pictures of how they uh, are microneedling with all this blood. And then I see, like me, I didn't see clients today, by the way. I'm closed today. So yes, like I don't know my jewelry, right? But I'll see all this jewelry and then they're and all this blood. And I'm like, oh my God, that is so unsafe the way they're doing it. OK, so you want to ask about the safety of device. Has anyone died? Has anyone, you know, so these are things you want to ask. One of the things I have to be totally candid with people about, and I've said it before on different lives, and it's not a bragging right about me. It just is what it is. OK, so despite having a credit score of a 780, despite owning properties that had great value, Despite making well over six figures, the banks were not feeling me in terms of loans. And you may run into that problem as well. OK, so now we're going into the financial considerations. Right. So what I want you to think about is before I can even talk about some pointers in buying equipment, I have to be totally candid and let and have a, a woman to woman or woman to man talk here on what's real. And what's real is if you're going into business, then your days of being at Lenox Mall, your days of I'm on the beach every three weeks is going to have to come to a pause. And you're going to have to spend money on things that make money. You have got to drill that in your head. Now, you know, I go by experience. Today, I had someone talk to me about classes, for instance, right? And kept going to how much, how much, how much? Damn, how much? You better worry about the quality of what you're going to get. But I had to, the light went off. Like, oh, this person trying to go thrifty on starting a business. You want to be frugal, but not cheap. Frugal meaning you want to make great financial decisions in your purchases for your business, but you do not want to skimp on what is good and what is worth it. It is very important. This is not the Gucci store. This is not, um, this is real. This is business. Okay. And you don't want things to, <laughs> hey, Christy, you don't want things to come back and haunt you. So with that said, you have to be ready to spend money, okay? So when people say some financial considerations, one is know what you want to go into and then make a list of what you need to do that procedure and offer that service, okay? Two, as I said, is you want to research the device that you are interested in and you want to know, does it work? I am sorry, but Alibaba is not cleared by the United States. As fast as people can get their equipment made in China is as fast as the other company or the same factory can say, we'll push it out the back door even cheaper. You know, so do remember that. So you just want to make sure even if you got it from Alibaba, you want to make sure that it's safe. OK, so just some. Um, or oh, fibroblasts, a little bit about the Dermapro um, Razia. 
But like I said, speak to the, and this is, by the way, to everybody, this is ongoing dialogue. This isn't just me taking over the whole thing. If you have anything to ask, please chime in and I would love to, um, I love that. Yes, they should. If it's their equipment, they really should help with the training. And I agree with that 100%. So what you do in that case is if they say they'll do the training or so forth, ask for a demo. Ask whoever it is selling the equipment, tell them you want a demo. Okay, before you jump in and buy, get that demo. Trust me. And I've never heard of anyone saying no. And if they're saying no, then you need to question, well, what's really real going on here? So you want to ask for a demo of that equipment. And then also ask for before, after photos. And not just before, after. You want to know before, after how many treatments. Because they can tell you this part, this is what it looks like after, but that's really after six treatments. So you want to know what you're going to deliver to the client beforehand. And I don't mind being the guinea pig. If I think it's a safe item, I love to, um, okay, I'll check. I'll check. They never reply back to any messages or emails. Hmm. Okay. I'm suspect. Let me tell you guys what happened to me. True story. And it's a micro needle company that's out there. I won't say the name because they'll probably sue me. But nonetheless, this is an experience I want you to um, know about. You don't know these people from a can of paint. OK, so if they're not big and super duper reputable, like uh, every spa in the area has it or at least 10 people in the area have it, just proceed with caution. OK, I had one company say, oh, yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm going to support you with this device. I'm going to come during your first um, client. I'm going to film it. That way you can, it sounds so good. Um, so it, I was going to get the micro needle and what came with that micro needle was a centrifuge. And what came with the centrifuge were X number supplies of tubes, I believe it was, and needle heads to do the procedure. OK, so I said, OK, who is the provider of these other pieces of equipment? So that person told me the, the who made the centrifuge and the and the PRP tubes, because I was buying equipment to perform vampire facials. I gave this person close to four thousand dollars and every day turned into another day, turned into almost three weeks, I think it was. It was a while. It was long enough that this person saw the other side of me that I swear I killed and buried her a long time ago and she will never resurrect. Let me just say that. And it wasn't professional, I have to say, how I handled it. Uh, let's be real, I always tell people I grew up in Brooklyn and I grew up from where people mess with your money, you're not gonna see, you, see them. They're gonna ghost you because they know what's gonna come for it. But in the end, I just so you know, another financial consideration is that if you ever pay for something with your credit card and they do not deliver your product, you can reverse the payment. So I hope I helped you all out with that. If you receive your product, it ain't easy to reverse your payment. But I never received the product. This person would not return my money. And so I called my bank and I will brag on the bank. I was I'm with PNC Bank. And PNC reversed the charges back to me. It was like 3,800 or something like that. So don't ever pay with cash is what I'm going to tell you. Uh, find a way to pay with credit card. Okay. Now, let's say you have to buy a piece of equipment that requires a loan. Right. So I'm going to go back. I'm sorry. I, I, I went back because I was addressing Razia's statement there. Let's say you need a loan. And... Um, and I'm hoping that people could jump on this chat on the YouTube side. Let's say you need a, 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 a loan. If you need a loan, and I told you the banks give no love, you want to find companies that will lend to you. Now, every comp every device company, if it's heavy equipment, when I say heavy, I'm talking about something that you got to wheel down the hallway, like real heavy duty stuff, whether it's a, a, a body contouring machine or it's a, some type of dermabrasion machine or whatever have you, or if it's a skin analysis machine, all of those vendors know or work with someone that can give you financing. 
when you first start in business, your financing does rely heavily on your personal credit. Okay. And if you feel like, geez, my credit is shot, you'll be surprised what they will loan you. So you never know. My first piece of heavy equipment, just so you know how relentless I am, I, the seventh lender loaned me the money. The seventh lender. Yes, I went through six lenders, okay? I was not playing, all right? And my credit was great. I told you it was 780, okay? But some of them don't want to take a chance on a new business. So it is what it is. And sometimes you may have to result to going to a, a venture capitalist or something like that. I didn't want a venture capitalist. So I did what I had to do. If, if it was under a certain amount of money or whatever, I'm, I tell everybody, my bank, I was my bank. You know, one thing, if you're not saving money, if you're in your job and your, your, your long term is I'm going to own my salon or my spa or whatever in three years, that, and right now where you are working, right now where you are working, start putting your money into the 401k if they have that option. I did it since I was 21 years old. It's the best thing you could do. Pay yourself first. It makes no sense. If you are driving a luxury vehicle and you are not putting money into the bank, at least twice a month into some savings account, and you're saying you want to be a business person, it's going to be grand opening, grand closing. You need to rethink your money spending, hands down. If you can't pedal back to speed off forward, don't get in this life. This life is not for you. I'm sorry. I'm not into discouraging people, but I, I hate to see people fall on their face. And the number one no-no in business is you have to be able to humble yourself to come in the door. The paycheck, the big, big, big payoff, it will come. But to plant the seeds in the beginning, you have got to be willing to roll up your sleeves and put your sneakers on, I tell people, okay? You stop getting your nails and your lashes. Yes, girl, that's what I'm talking about. And saving your pennies. Yeah, look at these nails. Let me get a close-up so y'all can see. Okay, y'all see these nails? Okay, I was a woman who sat and got her nails done every two weeks. I have been bending over many months to redo my polish on my toes. Yes, I used to love getting my lower legs waxed, but guess what? I've been shaving my legs, okay? So it is about sacrifice. Hey, Mimi. So it's about sacrifice. So really, really, I'm telling you, unless you just got rich uncles sitting out there, and uh, then just do you, Okay just do you. But it's good to come on board with people who I tell you before have liked minds. I could bring this into every talk. You have got to find them. They are out there. They're on this feed right now. You may see them right now jumping in here. Look at that name. And then afterwards, you might want to, um, right. <laughs> you might want to say, Hey, I saw you on the feed. What are you trying to do? Yes. This is a young lady, just to give you an example, who is, uh, she's a nurse anesthetist. She may be looking at this video. And we met by way of like this, social media, just like this. I have never met her in person. Never. We have spoke on the phone and we were both like, I'm going to open mine on this day. What day are you going to open yours? I got my LLC now. What did you, what are you, you up to? Oh, I went to this training. Which training you're at? Okay, I'm going to go to that training with you. And da -da -da. we did that. And we both open our businesses at the same time. And we both now are opening our bigger, have opened our bigger locations. That is my sister in business. Never even seen her. But late night when I want someone to talk to, like, Dad, how am I going to get the reception desk? Let me ask her where she got her reception desk. Girl, I went on Facebook Marketplace. Get out of here. Let me start looking on there. I never even heard of Facebook Marketplace. So... One thing I'm going to tell you, if you want that extra pointer, hey, let's get to it. Pointer number four, stay around people with like minds. You don't know what you will learn from them, the ins, the outs. Who do they know? Who hooked them up? It's not always what you know, right? It's who you know. We know that. So it applies to this. So think about what you want to do. If you're saying, I'm going to be the lash artist. I'm going to be the bomb lash artist. Nobody's going to do lashes better than me. Then you need to invest in great lash training and great lash products, period. Why would you go buy a microdermabrasion machine if you just say you about to do lashes? So you have to pick your poison. Because now, now that, that machine is going to be sitting in the corner and you're paying a bill on it. Okay? 
So start low and go slow is number five. And that's the biggest one. In other words, find things that don't cost as much, but can give you great ROI. So I'm going to go back to the micro needle example, right? And this is another, I'm sorry, y'all. I have a poodle and she knows when I'm up in this loft. So she's barking at me because I didn't bring her up here. Sorry. But nonetheless, <laughs> um, you want to start low. So let's go back to the micro needle example. Let's say, let's take it to that guy who, uh, like I said, I paid what, 3,000, 3,800 or something like that. This is the crazy thing. I knew what machine he was getting me for a centrifuge, but I never looked it up. So when I looked it up, this guy was like charging me three times the price of the centrifuge. So with that said, do your homework. Okay. Take your time. This doesn't have to be a trigger decision. Don't let them force you into anything. They're vendors. They make money off sales. Remember that. So you take your time and you do the research. I just had someone ask me about a piece of machinery today and said, what is it? 200K? I said, 200K? You can get that for X, Y, Z. How? Who do you speak to? I said, oh, well, let me tell you. So you, you have to keep people in your circle. Okay. Now, microneedling. Hyaluronic acid microneedling is at, on average about $300 for the procedure, right? If we add stem cell to it, $450, $500. If we do a vampire facial, now we're talking about $1,000, okay? Why would you be scared to spend $3,000? Not to say, I, I I think in the end, let me tell you in the end, I, got a, I, I didn't get that person's device. I got another device. But in the end, let's say I spent $2,000, okay? Some people, and this goes back to the person, the example I talked about. Oh, you're too much money. Okay, well, here goes. You got to spend money to make money. So if you're going to spend $2,000 on that piece of equipment, and they're going to, most equipment people are going to give you enough to do a couple because they want you to get your money. Okay? So somehow you negotiate that. So if they say to you, well, I'm going to give you enough pieces to attach this machine to do two clients. Say, I want for five. You know, I'm a haggler, y'all. I grew up in New York. We went to Delancey Street every fall to buy our leather coats. And you came with your A game on haggling, okay? So I am haggle queen and I love to haggle, by the way. So <laughs> you come with your A game. You never know. All they can say is no. All they can say is no. So 2000 on a machine that has made my practice into the thousands of dollars. I can't tell you how many vampire facials I've done. Oh, sure, Rosie. I can't tell you how many I've done. I've done a lot, let's just say. So if we say in, uh, okay, Tosh, what do you charge for them? About $899, $899. So if someone gets a series of them, I have a package where people pay $2,000, okay? Why would you be scared to spend $2,000 on a good piece of equipment that's going to ensure safety to your client, safety to yourself, and results? Okay? Don't cut the corner because you're going to get the person like me who comes in and be like, what kind of machine are you using? That's how I did it when I used to go get procedures because I already researched. I had a lovely lady call me today and said, what do you have for tightening? And I told her. And she said, yeah, because I saw that you have that da 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 and I already did my research on it. And I knew that you carry that. People are not stupid. They have the encyclopedia in the palm of their hands, I tell people. So they can look up and find out if you're using garbage on them. Okay. Um, so be smart about it. And don't be scared. You have got to believe in yourself coming into this field. I'm telling you, you have got to believe in yourself. You have got to Speak it into existence. Thanks, ladies over on IG. You have to speak this into existence. You can do it, okay? You can do it. So don't be scared. So like, let's say when I got my hydrofacial machine, and you know I'm candid, I keep it real. The machine was probably, I, I don't know, 500 a month. Anytime I tell people the machine is 500 a month, they like, and I'm like, yeah, but you pay 500 a month for your car. How much money your car brings you? 
zip zero, okay? So I spend 500 a month, but think about it. If a hydrofacial is $200, don't you think I paid for the machine the first week I had it? Of course I did. Of course I did. There's not a month ever on record that I couldn't make that payment for that machine. That machine pays for itself. But not only that, here's the bigger ROI. I got people walking around embracing their natural beauty. What I said I started out to do. So put the fear, put the price point behind you. It is true when they say medical spa can cause a hefty investment. They're not lying to you. There's not a lie, but you got to spend money to make money. That's business. And you have to believe in yourself and know that you're not going to be lazy coming into this. Know that you know some nights you're going to wake up like me last night, 1.45 in the morning and finish a brochure because I'm crazy. Okay, my business, I have a business partner for the Maryland location and she'll tell you, she like, girl, your brain does not stop. But somebody has to be that person. Somebody has to plant the seeds and build the business. And you're going to do that. I promise you, you work with me, you're going to do it because I'm going to put fire under you. So like I tell people, as much as I want to teach everybody about starting their business, I don't want to work with everybody. I don't. If you just about hot air, like don't come my way, you're going to mess up my track record. I want to work with people who are fire and they want to come out here and light fire. That's what I want. That's really what I want. That's who I want to work with. I want hitters. You know, people say hitters. I want hitters. That's what I tell people. I want diamonds in the rough. That's what I want. So you come my way. I'm really asking you after the business builder course, where are you at in this process right now? Okay, you said you was da 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 da. I'm good with holding you accountable. So whatever it is, you want good equipment. If you're doing nails, you want go ahead, spend that money on that machine. Don't be cheap. You know, get that 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 the girl, the lady that used to do my nails, and I love independent nail spa owners. So I'm not into the, you know, the big nail factories. I'm not into them. That's just me. I like some, I like supporting small business and women in business. Uh, she had the platform built, put the comfy chair on the top, and they built the thing to put the water in the bottom and taught me, girl, you don't want bubbles. Bubbles bring bacteria. Invest in it. Do it. There's a market for you. Okay? I promise you. Don't be scared. I had someone today tell me they buy skin products from Bergdorf Goodman. Guess how much the products cost? Y'all won't guess it, but it's around two G's. There's nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong with that. What I'm telling you is there's a market for everybody. So don't be scared. So when that designer made their product, they wasn't scared. They like, that's the price point. There's somebody that's going to be out there that's going to want what you got because what you got works. I get too many people coming from people who've been doing this or that and it doesn't work because they didn't invest in good things. So invest in good things. This is your business. This is your reputation. Okay. There's somebody who people say people pay you $900 on vampire facial. They sure do. And they look good. They look good. It's a price to look cute now. It's a price. Yeah. So that's another thing we could talk about. Yes. Bring something unique. I love that. Bring something unique that no one is offering. That is huge. Okay, I'll tell you this real quick. I had someone, and I, I meet a lot of people, So, but, but I love teaching people by stories, okay? Uh, so I know a couple business owners who said, they had lasers before I had lasers. Now, I done taught you. You got the laser before me? Good luck. But here's the thing. Who they putting that laser on? You don't even have a client that's coming in to get a regular service. Now, if your business is going to be a laser business, go get your laser. But if you're going to tell me, no, my business is going to be, I want to focus on weight loss. And I want to focus on, you know, because I got this, this tummy trainer and I got, you know, things to detox the tummy and tighten it. But in case they want laser hair, I'm getting a laser. You sound crazy to me. You just told me that your business model was tightening up some tummies and, you know, and things like that. I think you need to stay focused. 
Yes, yes, see? Right. So if you're going to focus on age and skin problems, you're going to get stuff that's going to work. And you don't have to go too drastic too fast. Everyone can't afford the laser. So you got to creep, you got to crawl before you run. So don't worry. People are not going to bust down your door for lasers. They're not. I promise you I have one. Right? So the first people you want to market off of are the people that are already coming to you. Right? So if they trust in you with all the other smaller items, then when you pull out the big dog, they're going to be there ready. At least you have a market to market to. Then no one at all. Okay? Any questions? Yes, it's one step at a time. I tell people, grow, go slow and grow. People are trying to do too much. And all people want to do is come out with some pretty skin. They want to come out with pretty skin. Same way I wanted pretty nails and my nail girl was in a little cubby somewhere and I went there for seven years, but my nails were always looking cute. My lash girl was in her one room suite, but my lashes came out looking cute. You don't have to be worried about selling people a dream. I'm going to leave you with that. Okay. People are spending money on all the glitz and glamour and the offices and the, you know, and the, at the end of the day, people want good service and be to be treated well. That's what they want. I promise you. Don't worry about, about impressing. I told you before on, on my other videos, the horse has the blinder so he can't see to the side. You need to look ahead, make your own lane and run fast. When you look to the side of what other people do, you stumble and fall. Okay? You stumble and fall. So I don't worry about when people look at what Natasha's doing and they want to emulate it right now or that I don't pay that no mind. Cuz I'm not even watching that. If anything it just tells me I must be doing the right thing and I move forward and go ahead. Hey, sometimes we're going to inspire people and it is okay. There is nothing wrong with that. So don't always take it negative, but take it as, yeah, it's inspiration. But make your own lane and run with it. You don't have to be Dr. So-and-so and you don't know his bills, okay? Don't look at so-and-so spa, blah, they got everything over there. I'm trying to get everything like them. That's leading your business like the Joneses. Stay focused. Stay focused and you will be fine. Trust me, the success will come. It takes time, okay? First two years is the hardest years in business. It takes time to build. But build patiently. Don't rush. Don't worry about them. I seen spa so-and-so and whoop the wolves come and go and those locations are still standing there empty. So don't be fooled, okay? So they're doing too much, some of them. But you're going to be smart. You're going to come out the gate and say, hey, I'm only focusing on makeup and uh, things that relate to makeup and making your makeup look good. So let me get my airbrush machine and let me get a, a tan and bed, a tan spray tan machine. So when they get their makeup, they get their tans and they're done. You know what I mean? That makes sense. Yeah. Not I'm going to do makeup, but in case I might get a pedicure too. So I'm going to get a pedicure. The girl coming to you for her skin. Not gonna want to stick her feet in, in the tub in the next room and your hands and just touch her face. And I mean, that's you're doing too much. <laughs> I tell people, and if that's what you want to do, be my guest. But I promise you, if you focus on something and you feed it and you plant it and you water it, it's gonna grow. Hope that answered. You know, I do my 30 minutes. Any questions? Anything I can answer? I don't even know if you can share these videos, but if you can't share and where to find me website for my business, abrazaskinstudio.com, A, B like boy, R, A, Z, A, abrazaskinstudio.com. Yes, I teach medical aesthetics classes, four classes. Next classes are coming up in Atlanta, March 2nd to 5th and in Maryland, Silver Spring, Maryland, March 21st to 24th. If you are interested, okay at the bottom of this video should be some links. One link you can sign up to, um, oh, it's not on IG, but if you are, on, okay, let's go back. If you're on IG, you can go to my page and there's a, a link there. Click on the link and, and it's going to give you like five links and you can sign up to get emailed to get updated on my next lives that I do on YouTube. And I oftentimes um, air it on IG as well. 
You can also, so that gets you on a mailing list is you can also click over to YouTube and join my YouTube page, follow whatever it is you do. You know, I'm old school. So we use all the wrong terms like your old auntie. Um, the other thing is on there, you can get to the website and you can find out more about the medical aesthetics training. Okay. I do have online booking. Yes. And you can book online. Any problems booking online, please just DM me. Sometimes things are just weird or whatever. And you know, I'm totally accessible. So you can DM me. I am on Facebook. My Facebook page is Natasha Welch. That's easy. Or a Brazza Skin, Stu Brazza Skin Studio is the business page. A Brazza Skin Institute is the medical aesthetics training page. And yeah, I got pages. And the Skin Corner is my page on Facebook with a lot of tips and pointers, articles on skincare and skin health. Okay. I try not to advertise on that page. I like to keep it more educational type form. And here on YouTube, you can find me doing these videos. Usually every Monday, they are free. Upcoming class coming. I'm so excited. The Business Builder Workshop. You can join my class wherever you are in the United States or on this planet. And it's not just a stay at home and do it by yourself class. It's interactive. There's going to be lives like this. We have a Facebook group. It's going to be fun. But please, I would just love to inspire you and not just tell you how to get a business started, but how to get it off the, the ground successfully in terms of marketing, um, all the two to who's, I know a lot of people in this industry, I can tell you who not to mess with, who to mess with, but I can't do it on this public stage. But I will tell you if you're my student, trust me, I'm gonna tell you who not to give money to. But um, so lots, to, lots in that class. So please feel free, find me on any of those links on IG. I told you it's a Brazos Skin Studio. The Dr. Natasha is my personal IG page. There's not much on there, inspirational words. And that's T-H-E-D-R Natasha. I'm not a physician. I'm a nurse practitioner who has a doctoral degree. Just have to be clear on that. Um, I think I gave it all to you. And if I didn't, you'll find a way to find me. People often do. Other than that, good night. Thanks. And Chrissy and everyone out there. Oh, let me tell you, if you had an order from me, the back orders went out today. Yes, I have a Braza skincare. I didn't even tell people that. I also have a skincare line called a Braza skincare, A-B-R-A-Z-A skincare.com. Please check it out. Free shipping to everyone. And today the SPF 47 is here and that went out. Oh, I should have showed the bottle, but I try not to make this an infomercial, but nonetheless, I love the SPF. You have to really rub it in guys. Yes, it, the, it is white, but it disappears. Why? Because it's mineral based. I do not believe in chemical SPF. It is dangerous. It's an endocrine disruptor. It is banned in Hawaii, banned in Europe. Why are we still putting this on our skin? And if you have black skin or dark skin, it is worse for your skin type because it turns UV rays into heat. And if you heat up hyperpigmentation, it gets worse. Yes. So you need mineral titanium dioxide or zinc oxide as your sunblock, not octanoxate, actosinolate, and all of that stuff. See how crazy I am? Because I probably pronounce all those words wrong. But it doesn't matter because you probably don't know the words either. So if y'all know me, I'm a big kidder and I like to play around. But anyway, hope that helped you out, everybody. Bye. Take care. See you next Monday. Bye.